We had no idea what was coming. This virus is spreading rapidly in China. Coronavirus officially came to the news. U.S. The first death from coronavirus. We declared this a global health emergency. begin tonight with the state of emergency in California as historic heat fuels dangerous wildfires, one of them trapping hundreds of campers, prompting dramatic rescues. They're battling desperately to save thousands of structures up against record high temperatures, lightning strikes, and bone dry conditions. California has become the state with the most coronavirus infections in the U.S. Bystander's cell phone video captured the incident Monday night. A Minneapolis officer pinning George Floyd based down, pressing a knee into his neck. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. You don't have to accept what was considered normal. You don't have to accept the world as it is. You can make it as you should. It's going to depend on young people like you to go out there and rewrite what is possible. We look at how the pandemic is affecting the mental health of college students. The CDC three out of four Americans between the ages of 18 and 24 report poor mental health time. In the U.S., the Food and Drug Administration has just approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. FDA moments ago approved Moderna's vaccine. I mean, finally, there is light at the end of the tunnel. On April 15th, everybody in the state of California, 16 and over, can get a vaccine. A historic turning point in the pandemic in this country. Tonight, the CDC now saying no more masks for vaccinated Americans, both indoors and outdoors.